I thought I would come on here really quick and address a topic that so many of you have taken the time to write me about. And I love when you ask me these questions, it allows me to dive a little deeper into a topic and I can offer some clarity. So the question is, what do I mean when I refer to a creative team that's on the verge of collapse or failure? What does a creative team that's failing look like? And I can see where there's a contradiction because so often I'm referring to failure as this great thing, as this normal and crucial component to the creative process and how we have to grow comfortable with it. And I still stand behind that. In fact, I love how scientists uh, refer to their shortcomings. They call it research, not failure, but research. And they use that research to propel their work forward, to learn from their shortcoming. And I still stand behind that. But when I refer to a creative team that is failing or collapsing, I mean something very different. And now we all know that I mean creative teams in any discipline, in any industry, in any business. So this applies to anyone. So these are the three ways that I define a creative team that's failing. Number one, people are unhappy or frustrated. Sometimes they're even angry. And some people have a way of showing this through their behavior and other people keep things internal. And they may be losing sleep at night. They may be struggling to find the motivation to come into work, but at the end of the day, they are unhappy. Number two, when people are no longer growing or thriving within an organization, and in turn, they're not helping their organization grow and thrive. And number three, when people are burning out and they're leaving. These are the three ways that I define a creative team that's collapsing or failing. And you can see how this is a very different type of failure. And teams that are failing rarely fail because there's not enough talent in the team, because they can't generate great ideas, or because people are difficult to work with. It always comes down to the same thing. Every single time I have witnessed a creative team failing, it's been because of the same culprit. And that culprit is poor creative leadership or a complete lack thereof. And creative leadership is that strong foundation that's required for any creative process to take place, for any creative team to thrive. And so you can see how I make it a mission to help organizations overcome their struggles when it comes to failure, or I help them prevent that creative team from collapsing or failing. Because creative teams are usually either thriving, which is a fantastic thing, they're angry, lost, or stuck. Now there's no problems when they're thriving, but of course there's problems when they're lost, angry, or stuck. And so this is why it's important to understand that there are these two different types of failure and one of them is encouraged. That's the one that comes along with the ambiguity and uncertainty of the creative process. And then of course there's this other one that comes with a lack of creative leadership. I hope I've offered some clarity. Keep asking me those questions. And in the meantime, stay creative. <laughs>